serial killers don't really exist anymore. It's right because when was the last big serial? Killer? It's harder for sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. We well, watched, DNA. Yeah, we watched and all the cameras, and cameras everywhere and social media. Oh yeah. On on Netflix, there's a Night Stalker. Yep. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I haven't. I have queued I've up. I've seen, seen the it. first episode. Yeah, there's like is there, there's like four or five episodes, but like it's pretty good. Yeah. But like it takes place in like the eighties, and it's just the only thing you could really get anything on was either the newspaper or um, like news, but like the news didn't have anything. They didn't have a picture. They didn't have, yeah, it's just radio talk. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was just kind of conspiracy stuff. I mean, like there was nothing really super concrete because the cops wanted to keep them down low because any leads they had on them, they wanted to keep private. So they just didn't, there wasn't a lot of information on it. So it's like, he was hitting hard and I'm not going to say anything. Cause I don't, you should watch it. It's good. Who was the guy in that? Um, it's, uh, I only know him because of AHS. I don't know him because of Night Stalker. What's it? Uh, American Horror Story. Oh, in the hotel. I think it's like, uh, they did name? a piece on that. Serial um, killer? In the show, uh, not spoilers, but kind of spoilers in the show. Uh, Every night before the night before Halloween, um, the main like hotel. So okay, so you guys, let me just get this out real quick. You guys know the uh, guy who built the hotel that had like secret trap doors, doors that led to nowhere, uh, doors that you would just fall into. Um, he had like. Uh, You're not talking about the Winchester Mansion. Not Winchester. Oh. No, this guy was a like murderer. He oh. would uh, pretty much trap people who came into his hotel. And end up killing them. Well, they based that hotel on him, on his hotel. And so they based the main character on him. And so he invites serial killers to come every uh, year, the day before uh, Halloween. And um, pretty much just have one fun little kill fest. <laughs> How considerate. I forget yeah. his name. He was like some Hispanic dude. But like he was like in his 30s or something. Um, but... I mean, he's he's not he wasn't like a big dude. Well, that's Mm-mm. the thing with like Ted no, Bundy, right? Is like they didn't they didn't even know what he looked like for the longest time. They only got him because his girlfriend was like, "Hey, I think this guy might be yeah. the guy I'm dating." Uh, Richard Ramirez, by the way. Yeah, Richard yeah, yeah. Ramirez. Mm-hmm. He's the Night Stalker. Yeah, Ted Bundy. I don't know his story very well. Just that he was very good with everybody. Like people in the jury thought he was innocent because he was just so even persuasive. the judge liked him yeah also on netflix it was like there's a couple things on ted bunny there was like a documentary series but there's like a movie where zach, zach efron, efron. that was a good movie that was a great movie but i haven't um, seen it oh it's man. good but like there's a, like the documentary series on too it's really good but night stalker was was pretty good and it's just you know i it definitely would be harder for sure like the, obviously they still exist and they're out there but it's definitely harder to do, but it's not impossible. Oh, no. I wonder if that's like a generational thing, too, in like a weird way, right? Because it really like blew up in what, like the 70s and 80s is when they were, there I were think, a lot of them. I think that's when they were finally able to catch tru- them. Yeah, truly uh, be like, get on somebody's case about it. Oh, uh, so it'd been yeah. going on probably for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Before that. And I was talking or, with my parents about the Night Stalker last night. And then my dad was like, well, look at the Zodiac Killer. Like, he was never caught. Yeah, but that was in the 70s, wasn't it? Wasn't that a 70s one? I think that was earlier. I think because it was in... I'm just going to look it up. Not, it was just... I'm not too sure. But it was like... He was like, yeah. Like, he'd send just stuff to the press saying... Or, like, the police saying, I'm going to do this before it was actually done. And then, like, by the time they got there, there was something they could do. Late 60s, early 70s. Late 60s. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean somebody you know how he had that last letter uh somebody just recently a couple of people just recently started to decipher the first part and i think it's this one the first part was like so he sent the letter to the police before um this big televised production of who they thought the zodiac killer was um and in the letter it said haha you thought it was that guy why would i be so naive and he sent that to the police before anybody knew, like, they, before they televised the person they thought was the Zodiac Killer. Yeah. Damn. So, like, he knew. Or she. He or she knew. Yeah. And they never caught 
Mm-mm. They never caught him. Mm-mm. Probably dead by this point. But still. Actually, no. They could easily be in their like 60s or 70s. The Golden State Killer is still alive. They just got him a few years ago, didn't they? I don't know who that is. Oh, that was a guy who was on the police force. Oh, and oh. was going after a lot of people. And he wouldn't take a DNA test. And the only way they got him was because his brother or his cousin took a dna to like the ancestry thing or something oh, it was so close yeah and then and they tied it back to him huh but they just it was a cop you know how crazy that is so like cops being able to do that and then like firefighters with fires like they just start fires themselves because that was a thing like somebody oh i didn't know that yeah some firefighter just decided to start fires for i don't remember why but yeah, just I mean, it doesn't surprise me. They, they know how to do it to make it look like it was an accident, yeah. make it look like it was something like electrical or whatever. But then it really be this, you know. I, I, yeah. Oh, that's so fucked up, though. Oh yeah. Well, you know what's crazy? Cops can have sex with prostitutes to prove they're prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, because like you got right. <laughs> yeah, because you got to like actually. Like, Doesn't prove... that seem just like something that's not that's, yeah that's true something... at all yeah, like so... outrageous? That's something that's out there, but like you have to like because there has to be like. Can you? It doesn't just... have to be like an exchange of money, and there has to be like the service. Like that's how you oh. have to prove they're prostitutes. Isn't that wild? I thought it was just the money. <laughs> oh my! Isn't know. that insane? Doesn't that seem like something that like is just made it up? Just really do you really have that to like? Do. I could... wouldn't you just have to get to like. I don't think you have to, but cops can. Oh, definitely. And they do. Oh, There's cops plenty of cops that then. definitely do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's definitely yeah. plenty of cops. That's like, haha. Like, well, you. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That... How the fuck is that, though? That oh, no. does not seem like that's okay. Oh, well, it's definitely not okay. Yeah. But, like, it definitely well, happens because just... yeah, some I'm... people are just assholes, even if they are cops but... or whatever. It's just like. Well, how does that work, though, if you have, like,. Um, a cop is disguised as like the prostitute. Do they have to actually sleep with the person who pays I the think money? They have had female cops do that too. I Damn, thought I they only s- had to take payment. No, I was gonna say I didn't even think about that. I just thought of like guy cops having sex with female prostitutes. And well, they had like the female prostitute. cops sleep with informants and stuff too to yeah. get information. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's like that is. That sucks. That's asking a lot. Yeah. That's asking yeah. a lot. How far? I mean, and what are we really asking This guy's for pretty dangerous job. and all that, but we're going to need you to, like, get really close to him. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. He's got some information we need, and you just got to... Yeah, that's pretty rough. That... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably where I draw the line. I'm being like... I mean, it's easy. The whole cop thing is so weird, because people hate cops, and people love cops, and... They're bad cops, but a lot of cops are good. Otherwise, shit would not yeah. work the way it works. Yeah. But stuff like that. Is just... no, there's definitely like there. I just it's a shame like there's always gonna be like shady stuff and corruptness at some point in different departments of anything. Like whether it be you know police, fire, you know whatever. Politics. Yeah, it's just the the way it is, which sucks. But I don't think that's gonna go away. Mm-mm.